Greetings dear friends, I present your attention to most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Alfa Romeo 159. With 1.8 liter engines, the Alfa Romeo 159 was equipped with the mechanical Opel gearbox F17, about which many bad words have already been said, including by me. On cars with engines 2.2 liters and 3.2 liters, as well as on some cars with 1.8 liter engines, after restyling, a 6-speed M32 produced by Gutrack was installed. It is also from the Opel set and is also not at all problem-free. It raises especially a lot of complaints when paired with powerful V6 engines and diesel engines of 2.0 and 2.4 liters. The Sailspeed Magnetic Morelli CFC 3.0 transmission is new. The essence remains the same, but the mechanics are the same from the M32. The 3.2 liter engines were immediately given the newest at the time icing 6 speed TF80 SC which fans of the brand often present as their own innovative development automotive transmission Qtronic. Actually, all boxes were received under an agreement with GM, and only the all-wheel drive transmission has its own with the Torsen 3 center differential. Of course, dual-mass flywheels have a limited resource, and after one and a half or 200,000, they will almost certainly require replacement L or bulk heads. Manual transmissions aren't as problem-free as you would like. Owners of cars with a 140 horsepower 1.8 liter engine paired with which F17 is were especially unlucky. This box is already recognized as frankly problematic, and on the heavy 159 it has a very hard time. We strongly recommend that you regularly change the gearbox oil and control the presence of shavings in it. However, instead of the F17, the Alpha fits perfectly with the M32, which is much stronger and with this engine completely problem free. Moreover, cars with the station wagon came from this checkpoint from the factory, even with a 1.8 liter engine. Whether it is possible to put F16 is a big question, and LPAs do not bother with such crossbreeding. In general, when buying, listen to the car on the move, or rather spin the wheels on the posted car and listen to the box. With all other engines, and even as part of sales speed, it is mainly the M32 that works, it is also the C. 630 according to the Fiat classification. This box is more durable, but it also suffers from varying problems and oil leaks. It is clear with leaks, the oil seals on GM cars are not very good and are also and so are the Italians, so it's just written to waste oil. And without oil the box doesn't work for a long time. Bearings here die not only of the secondary shaft but also of the primary. It is not so long to change them and the need for this operation gives itself out with a sound when the engine is running. When replacing bearings, try to align the thrust washers correctly. With all bearings, they will definitely not last long. The differential also goes poorly with its duties. After 10 years of service, it is better to check the semi-axle play and noise. And the best thing is to open and check everything on the spot. It is not necessary to change the oil so often, but once every 40,000 it is still worth doing it. But control of the oil level and the state of the magnets must be carried out at each MOT test. The holding of the secondary shaft is not audible on the move, and the problem is identified when it is getting late. Working in tandem with torsional motors for a mileage of 150,000 often leads to a malfunction of the third gear synchronizers, even though they are triple here. It's cute that Opel's spare parts are enough and repairs are not so expensive. Occasionally, there are post styling cars with F40 manual transmissions. These are mainly cars with 2 liter and diesel engines. This box is noticeably stronger than M32, but for it, there are no standard clutch kits for a non-dual mass flywheel. This box has no problems with the differential, it rarely happens with shaft bearings and with high mileage or depressurization of the unit. You should definitely not be afraid of cars with this manual transmission. Sail speed, which is often found on cars with a 2.2 liter engine, is also not to be feared. This is not Azitronic and not even AMT Vesta. The robot on the Alpha works an order of magnitude better, although there is a congenital drawback in the form of a pose interaction, but here it is very small, and even with powerful motors it is less noticeable. Shifting and jerking is just his style, it takes some getting used to. In the event of a malfunction, of course, there will be blows and jerks in excess of the permissible and delays in switching and a lot of other troubles. In case of any serious malfunctions, the robot will simply stand up and will not go in emergency mode, like a classic automatic transmission. This box on the 159 is very different in design from its predecessors. First of all, the fact that the clutch hydraulic cylinder is standard here from Opel combined with the release bearing. 
and the pressure in the system is noticeably lower. The hydraulic accumulator and the electric pump of the system work in more gentle conditions, which is why the requirements for the old seals are also not so stringent. In addition, the, cap the capricious TPS potentiometers, which were used on the previous sail speed models, were replaced with proximity sensors that do not require adjustment. But Magneti Morelli, as always, are able to please. For example, all seals do not work at low temperatures. In addition, there are a number of sensors with limited lifespan. So a common error P0914 means that the time has come for the sunset of the gear selector position sensor 7174812. Its price is about 8500 rubles. Pressure errors are caused either by leaks or by loss of elasticity in the cuffs. Sail speed requires two fluids. A brake fluid reservoir in common with brakes and its own to tell the speed CS. The fluid from the MB345.0 approval sheet for cyclotronic is also suitable. It is recommended to change brake fluid and oil once a year, in extreme cases once every three years. The resource of the mechanical part and the clutch with regular adaptation of the grip point is higher than that of the manual transmission. The clutch is often enough for 150,000 or more mileage. Mainly the electronic part is troublesome, especially if there is no specialist in this design and the branded scanner nearby. The wiring to the pump in the corrugation is falling apart, the wiring to the sensors is a little more durable, but also doesn't live long in our climate. The Qtronic automatic transmission is the ICNTF 80SC unit, known for a long time from Volvo, Opel, Seab, Ford and Mazda cars. This is a well-body sensitive to pollution, which is difficult to repair with serious wear in the absence of original repair solenoids. Only the well-body assembly is supplied as spare parts, otherwise you will have to use compatible third-party manufacturers and calibrate the automatic transmission yourself. Also, the weakest point of this box is the gas turbine engine with blocking line aids and the cooling system, which can greatly reduce the resource of the unit. On running cars, traditionally for the kinematic scheme adopted by icing, the direct drum suffers, which is responsible here for 4th, 5th, 6th gears. In turn, its problems are associated with wear of the Teflon seals and the drum seat, also with runs of more than 250,000 or regular arrivals with full torque, which is responsible here for 4th, 5th, 6th gears. In turn, its problems are associated with wear of the Teflon seals and the drum set, also with runs of more than 250,000 or regular arrivals with full torque, the brake band will require replacement. On the Alpha 159, the box cooling system is not done in the best way, with a simple heat exchanger, but this option works perfectly with diesel engines. With the 32 liter engine, the box in city mode still heats up over 110 and even 130 degrees, which doesn't contribute to a large resource. During normal comparison, it is recommended to change the oil every 30-40 thousand on gasoline engines and every 50-60 on diesel engines. Boxes paired with a gasoline engine are recommended to install an external radiator and filter. For better safety of the well body, it is better to change the oil very often every 15-20 thousand kilometers. This doesn't greatly increase the cost of operation, but it can save you from large arm forcing costs. The four-wheel drive design is exactly the same as that used on the Lancia Delta Integral Alfa Romeo 155 years 25 years ago. A torsion central differential, a simple gearbox at the back. The most vulnerable point of the system is the carton shaft. Its intermediate support is located exactly above the catalyst and dies first. A spare part from BMW is perfect for replacement, but the shaft is solid and you still cannot do without carton service. In the Rosdatka and the gearbox, it is important to check the oil every 30,000 and change it every 60 times. And the main thing here is the check. 0.6 liters of liquid in the distributor will easily leak if the oil seals are damaged. And given the box, the both motors and gearboxes do not differ in dryness, it is visually difficult to detect a leak. Just check. Almost all motors require careful attention to plastic parts and wiring in the engine compartment. Broken wiring is one of the most common causes of malfunctions in gasoline engines. 2.2 liter engines have another unpleasant nuance. The quick detachable fuel line connector is leaking, which is easy to understand by the smell of gasoline. If you see a white color, then immediately change the part. And you don't need to buy an expensive original. In any store with spare parts for a gazelle, you will find that what you are looking for. Nozzle 405.4216 is just one to one. Leaking expansion tanks. This is also about the Alpha 159. Change the plugs more often, pour antifreeze 
at a rate and good high boiling one. And of course, keep the temperature normal if possible, less than 100 degrees. Low temperature thermostat for all GM motors are available. Some of the components of the cooling system can be selected from, from the 156 Alpha, and which is significantly cheaper. The 2.2 JTC engine is structurally similar to the Z22YH engines used in Opel. There are enough general details, but the 2.2 JTC has variable timing and a different intake. And as a result, it has 180 horsepower in its arsenal against 155 for Opel. Of the Italian oddities, I will note the drive of the pump, all pump and balancers with one chain. Now the price of the timing chain kit has fallen dramatically and is no longer a problem for users. Besides, half of the horror stories from the Opel Z22 SE do not apply to this motor. The cylinder head, made of normal cast aluminum, holds the timing pins and candles tightly. The engine resource is not bad by modern standards, over 300,000 even in our conditions. The resource of timing chains and tensioners and balancers flows depending on the volume of oil in the crankcase, its temperature, operating conditions and oil purity. The minimum resource when changing the oil every 15,000 km and using low viscosity DEXs to oils is about 100,000 km. With more gentle operating conditions, a lower operating temperature, good oil and other favorable factors, you can achieve a resource in excess of 250,000, which is just fine. This is another nice thing. Cylinder liners can be replaced without even cutting. There are no repair sizes, but spare parts are inexpensive and very common. In general, the design is very technological, although with, with expensive attachments and some lack of quality materials. For tuning fans, we'll inform you that there are turbo versions of the same engine, for example, B207, and there are compressor stations, but they are intended for the United States. The potential is limited by a weak cylinder block, which will have to be changed at the torque of more than 400 nm. Like other Opel engines, leaks and the dirty intake from the ventilation system are guaranteed. The situation is complicated by direct injection. The intake valves become very dirty. After several years of operation, the engine cannot deliver full power due to a clogged intake. The insufficient resource of the membrane injection pump is now practically eliminated. If you refuel in Moscow or St. Petersburg, then almost certainly gasoline has special lubricating additives. In the outback, the situation is more complicated, but the pump can withstand 40-60 thousand mileage even in such conditions. Of course, if you change the fuel filter in time and do not allow the tank to drain. The 3.2 liter engine also has a lot in common with GM engines. For example, with a turbocharged 2.8 Z28 NET or naturally inspired 3.2 with Antara Captiva. The block is the same, but the cylinder head is from versions of 3.6 liters with direct injection. There is nothing surprising. The motor was supplied by Holden from a factory in Korea, and there is nothing telling about it. In principle, a completely reliable engine. True, the Busa engine was better, but they could not or were too lazy to bring it Euro 5 standards. The thermal package is too large, and the radiators must be monitored very carefully. Any contamination or failure of one of the fans will cause serious problems. For example, it breaks through the cylinder head gasket or the engine starts to eat oil. The timing resource is relatively low, it is unlikely to pass more than 150,000, but less than 80,000 too. Again, like the 2.2 motor, a lot depends on the operating conditions of the chain. The resource of the ignition modules is low and it is difficult to change them in the back row. The vacuum system of the motor is branched and complex, there are many leaks. With this engine, the resource of the corrugations of the exhaust system is not long. After 5 years of operation, get ready to change them. New supercharged 1750 TBI, the motor is new and there is little data on it. Along with excellent traction, economy and noise levels, problems with the cooling system were noted in early copies, but it is unlikely that they have not been resolved after 7 years. Occasionally the engine control unit fails, here again Magneti Morelli is involved. But in general, new complaints about the motor are visible. Or they are simply difficult to find, because there are very few cars with this engine, on 159 it is practically not found. Diesel engines are mainly represented by versions of the 4-cylinder Fiat engines, with a volume of 1.9 liters and 5-cylinder engines of 2.4 liters. There are also newer 2-liter engines. All engines are considered to be very successful. Of course, there are typical diesel problems like dirty EGR, on older cars, increased attention should be paid to variable geometry turbines. Where the DPF filter has not yet been removed, it can cause a lot of trouble. It is poorly cleaned if you do not make long journeys on the highway and requires a special fluid and service mode for a forced cleaning. 
These diesels are also distinguished by their high sensitivity to fuel quality. In addition, the characteristic troubles of all diesel engines on the Alpha 159 are a vulnerable oil cooler located in front of the main one and a tendency to carbon formation at the intake. Carbon deposits can jump the air blocking flap designed to quickly damp and prevent runaway. The power supply system of these diesels is well diagnosed by electronics. By adapting the injectors, one can understand in what condition they are and how alive the engine is. 1.9 liter engines appeared on the Alpha 156 and these were immediate versions with common rail and supercharging. The original versions of the engine with an 812 cylinder head are still considered a model of simplicity and reliability, but they are 280 nm and 120 horsepower, not enough for comfortable movement. Version with 320 nm and 150 horsepower with a 16 valve cylinder head provides a noticeable improvement in dynamics, but more powerful versions of the 159 were not installed. It is very important to change the timing belt drive in time and do not forget about replacing the service belt, its pulley and rollers. The timing belt runs not 150,000 but only 6070 and is often limited in resource by the pump which is prone to wedging. And if the engine compartment is heavily sold and there are problems with the conditioning compressor, the service belt can run even less. Glow plugs in regions where winter is less than 25 degrees do not last long, there are complaints about the need to replace almost every year. Well, the resource of a two-mass flywheel on the weakest diesel engine will not please. In addition to purely mechanical problems, there is always the possibility of failure or one of the sensors or even breakage of the wiring to the injectors. The control system is quite complex and you shouldn't neglect its own malfunctions. Also, the system is sensitive to the operation of the fuel pump in the tank. If its mesh is dirty or worn out, it is hard to diagnose engine malfunctions. And checking the fuel pressure is a mandatory procedure for any failures. If the DPF cleaning procedure runs too often and lasts more than 15 minutes, check the turbine for oil leaks. The 2.4 liter engine is the same 1.9 liter but with another cylinder. With a power of 200-210 horsepower, this is a very sporty option. Moreover, it is combined with all-wheel drive and automatic transmission. Technically, the engine is no different from the low-volume ones. The same problems but a little more load on the cooling system and slightly more obvious problems with the intake manifold contamination. The downstream EGT is heavier and more likely to fail. 2-liter engines differ little from 1.9-liter ones. The cylinder diameter has grown by 1 mm, they have become even more sensitive to overheating and overblowing. The EGR is here with gas cooling in a single block with a thermostat. And here surprises are possible. The heat exchanger leaks and if you are very unlucky, you can get a water hammer. Antifreeze leaks are also common. This part is not cheap, as is the new electronic throttle, which in the same way is overgrown with soot. In contrast to a choke with the vacuum drive, in an electronic one, when it is wedged, the dampers break. In general, the design of the engine turned out to be a little more complicated than that of the 1.9 liter, but a slightly more expensive design became the price for improving traction, increasing power and reducing carbon formation. On this information about the problems of the Alfa Romeo 159 is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.